Hey, I'm Joost from BiteMyBun.com and today I will look at if dashi can go bad and expire. To know how long it can last, we need to know what it's made with. In this case, using two primary ingredients, kombu and katsuobushi, that's dried bonito fish. Now the question is, how long does it last? How long will it last in the fridge? How long will it last in the freezer? And how long will it last in its packet? Let's look at each. There are several variations to the broth and this matters in how long you can store it. Freshly prepared dashi with only kombu and katsuobushi can last for up to a week when refrigerated or a maximum of three months when frozen. Just pour the broth into small Ziploc bags so you can thaw how much you need without thawing out all of it at once. However, these figures are stretching the timeline a bit too thin. It's best to use the broth within five days when refrigerated and a month if frozen. Granted, the broth won't necessarily go bad, but it will lose some of its flavors. Now, other ingredients commonly used in preparing dashi include shiitake mushrooms, shrimp, toasted soybeans and sardines. Adding any of these ingredients can reduce the storage time of dashi even further. In all fairness, the longest you can preserve dashi with its flavor intact would be with cold brewed kombu and not adding in the katsuobushi. Using fresh animal products or vegetables do not last as long and it would take 4 days maximum in the fridge for dashi to go bad or less than a month if frozen. Here are some ways you can tell if stored dashi has gone bad. The smell is sweet instead of smoky, a film has formed around the edges and on the surface. It has a stickier consistency. Dashi hasn't gone bad even if it seems like it if there are sediment at the bottom of the broth. These sediments are just the katsuobushi particles settling at the bottom of the bowl that had not been strained properly. Now, powdered dashi is supplied in tea bag sized pouches that can be readily prepared by adding in two cups of water. While the manufacturer would have specified the dashi packet expiration dates on the back of the product, it usually lasts between eight months to a year before going bad. Alternatively, you can check to see if the dashi has gone bad by smelling it. If the smell is either sweeter than usual or just smells like it has gone bad, it probably has. If the particles are clumped together. It's important to know that powdered dashi isn't actually powdered. It has more of a pellet-like structure called granules. If the pellets are clumped together though, the glutamate has gone bad and you won't get the umami flavor relying on it. Or the color goes from its usual brownish tone to a green or blue. And check out this video on dashi infused miso paste to make an even easier miso soup.